Hey guys, so how do you clean an electric unicycle? <laughs> I know this is not a very, uh, very sexy topic here, but uh, it might be useful to some of you, particularly you guys who are new to um, EUCs. Now you'll see, no doubt you'll come across videos, and I have seen videos of guys washing their wheels literally with a hose and they're hosing down their wheel <laughs> uh, please don't do that uh, if you do i think you're playing russian roulette with your wheel uh, many times there won't be any any problems but uh, often there will be a problem and i personally know people who have uh, damaged their wheels from doing that typically uh, burning out some electric components so these wheels are not waterproof they're i would say barely weatherproof uh, if i rolled any of my wheels in the rain i'm in southern california so fortunately i don't have to uh, deal with riding in the rain but if i did I would waterproof my wheels. I would take them apart to some degree and fully weather seal them. Some are clearly better than others, but there are so many avenues for water to get into the electronics in areas you don't want them to get. There's no p reason to use running water and pouring it over your wheel. So, uh, so you let, let me show you how uh, I'm gonna clean my Sherman, which is uh, a bit dirty from some recent riding and I'll go through the, the whole process. First thing that you'll notice is the wheel is off. Do all this with your wheel off. Now in this case my tire is actually not uh, very dirty but if it is this is a, one place I'll use running water but I don't have it on very high and I'll just rinse the wheel, the tire Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Next, I fill a bucket with water and I use a sponge and I give the wheel a sponge bath so I can control where the water is going. where you know there aren't any electronics or places where water could get in where you don't want it. You can, you can be a little more free with the water. You know, but other places I'll rinse out the sponge more. So I don't get running water where I don't want it. You know, and you can be as thorough as you want. I mean, if I'm selling a wheel, if I'm returning a wheel to someone, or um, I want it to make look really, really nice, then I might, you know, spend more time working on it. 
but otherwise you know just want to get all the grime off if you've been on a particularly dirty ride Okay, I think that's good enough for what I'm doing today. And uh, so now I'll just let this dry, dry in the sun. Well, if you don't have any sun, you know, dry it off and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, now certainly this next step is optional, but I like to clean my wheels periodically like this. And what I use is one of these foaming tire cleaners that you you can buy these all over the place i think i bought this at home depot and um, i use this on the whole wheel so of course first i spray the tire you do want to put something down because this, this will stain even cement a little bit, not permanently, but uh, so I, I put some paper underneath wherever I'm spraying this. Sometimes I do it outside. This really makes the tires look like they're brand new. And then I'll just lightly spray it on other parts the wheel. I'll let that just work by itself, but on the body, I just spray it and then I wipe it down. And I tell you, this just really can make the wheel look like it just came out of the box. Minus all the scratches, of course. <laughs> I've been doing this for years on my wheels. All the surfaces. Wiping down the rim now.
feels like I'm polishing shoes. <laughs> and I, actually, I'm trying to remember. I think I've used shoe. Actually, I've used like black shoe polish sometimes in the past on some parts of the wheel. But nowadays, I just use this this stuff. Never thought you'd be watching a guy clean his uh, electric unicycle, right? Okay, I'm going to just let this, uh, the tire part, naturally dry off. Because when you use this on your car, you, you don't really have to wipe it off. You just spray it on and uh, let it dry off, and uh, you've got a clean tire. Same theory here. All right, so I'll let this dry off and uh, show you the end result. I know guys, this was an exciting video, but uh, hopefully you got something out of it. And uh, if nothing else, just remember, don't use running water pouring over your wheel to clean it. Uh, bad things are likely to happen. And I don't care which company and which wheel you have, unless you've waterproofed it. Uh, I'd give it a sponge bath. Talk to you guys later.